welcome to the coding channel today is the fourth episode of our python tutorial series for beginners and in this episode we are going to talk about the while loops in python this and more when we come back any other programming languages python also supports a while loop if you want to execute a set of statements that uh, needs to be repeated like for example uh, we have the uh, an output statement here instead of having five lines of uh, code just to simply um, display or print this um, number one to number five so we can uh, just simplify this by just using only one output statement and then we will put this inside of our uh, loop Okay. And um, also, um, the advantage of while is that uh, we can use this for uh, both for counter-controlled repetition or the known number of repetition and at the same time for unknown a number of repetition or what we call the uh, sentinel controlled repetition. So uh, let me um, uh, present to you the uh, counter-controlled repetition. So let's start. Okay, so first is the initialization. Let's say, for example, um, we just um, want to prompt the user to enter at least a five scores, student scores, or a grade, and then we will just uh, add and then uh, get the average. Just for you to know the uh, basic syntax of a while loop. Okay, so let's start. Um, again, initialization. So, for example, we have the variable counter. You can just uh, set to one. And then we will use the uh, while uh, keyword, then followed by the uh, let's say counter is less than or equal so we will use the um, comparison operator and then for example if you want to repeat it the five times so you just have to um, specify five and then just put a semicolon at the end uh, no colon at the end of the while condition and then uh, don't forget to uh, put the indentation because on here we don't um, normally use the um, uh, curly braces just like in any other programming languages to mark the beginning and end of uh, or the scope of this while loop so in here the indentation is a uh, very um, important okay so um inside of our loop since um, our goal is just to ask the user to enter five num uh, scores so uh, for example we have um, student grade so we'll use the uh, grade um, uh, variable here and then uh, Let's try to use a float, for example, so the, the user can enter uh, floating point numbers. And then uh, the input function, and then for example, uh, we have the score, score 1, score 2, score 3, for example. And then inside of the um, input function, we can actually uh, put here um, the uh, string concatenation operator if you want to have, let's say, score number 1. So uh, we will use the counter variable so that every iteration there should be a, what, a score one score two score three four and then five okay so we will just add another uh, closing um, parenthesis there okay, now as you can see the uh, counter variable has um, a, an underline it's because this one is a string and again a counter is um, an integer because we assign a one to counter so automatically the counter is an int um, is a um, an integer so what are we going to do uh, we will uh, convert this or cast this temporarily by using the str there okay and then we'll just have to add one more um, closing um, parenthesis so that's it uh, that's uh, this is now the uh, input statement then after that so this is an example now of um, a statement inside of our uh, while loop so the um, next um, syntax that we need to provide is aside from the initialization, from the condition, and then the code to be executed. So don't forget to put um, the uh, either increment or decrement. So in this case, we will uh, try to increment the, or add one to the value of counter so that every iteration, the uh, value of counter will uh, uh, change to, to one so that we will have um, a... Uh, uh, five times repetition okay so we will just add a uh, counter here 
Okay. Now take note in Python, uh, you cannot use, uh, for example, plus plus uh, sign here or count or the pre increment or the post um, increment. Instead, you just have to use um, the the normal way. Okay. Let's say we have counter is equal to counter plus the um, uh, one. Okay. Or um, if you want to use the uh, shorthand notation, let's say uh, you can uh, actually use the counter plus equals and then one. So this one is same as counter is equal to counter plus one. It simply adds one to the value of counter. So I will be using the shorthand. So let me just uh, put this inside of the comment just for you to know that this um, statement is the same as this one. Okay, and then I will just um, align this one so that these two statements now, the assignment statement and then the input statement uh, are under or inside of our while um, loop condition. Okay, so after, uh, so after that, um, let's try now to uh, run first. Okay, so this, for example, we have the score one there and then um, the input is um, 89, 98, 78.5. Okay, we have a 67 45 okay, that's it so far um uh so good okay it's because we only uh have just provided the um, input statement so how are we going to add the input but before that let me uh, just add a little bit of string here just a colon for example just for the output okay it's like score one score two okay uh, going back let us uh, try to add um, another variable, uh, for example, a sum. Since every iteration, for, for example, I'm going to add a sum here, okay? If I just assign a grade here, okay, I need to um, uh, add the uh, grade to the sum variable every iteration. So how are we going to do that? Okay, so first, uh, if you want to store the, uh, the sum, of the grade every iteration. So the uh, first thing to do is you have to initialize the, the variable, okay? And then in here, you can now use the plus or equal uh, sign. Then for example, grade. If you fail to do this one, okay, let me just uh, put this in a comment. Okay, as you can see, if we're going to run this one, there is a um, uh, an error, okay? It's because the value error could not convert string to float, etc. etc. That's because um, of this one. Okay, that's the easiest way to um, solve the problem. You initialize first before you can uh, use this one, the, the, uh, the addition. Okay, because for example, the, the first input is 90, the second input is 95, the third input is 94. So every iteration, um, we are adding it. To the uh, into the sum of variable okay that's how it goes okay let's continue so now uh, the uh, the sum is already in the sum variable so every iteration okay so let's try to uh, have a um, an output statement here okay so this one is outside of the while loop okay it's because I didn't align the, the print uh, in here okay so that's the uh, the signal or that's uh, how um, Python identify that this uh, statement is outside of our while loop already. Okay, so just be careful with that. So, for example, uh, I just wanna uh, display here that the sum is okay. For example, and then uh, I just uh, put a sum a variable here. That's it. Let's try to run. So, for example, score one. Uh, let's try. Try this one. Now. So when I have I'll just to put the score one and then this one should have a uh, colon. Why the colon is not okay? Yeah, wait. You're running the the old one, maybe. Okay, so we have what about the colon? Hmm. Wait. Oh wait. Okay, it's because uh, we have the uh, um a uh, parenthesis here. Okay, we just have to put it here up. Okay, so that the colon is inside of the uh, uh, scope. Okay, 
and that's it. So I to run again. So there you go. So we have now score one. Okay, so for example, 89, 90, 78.6, 99.5, 78.4. Once you press the enter key, so the sum is 435.5. Okay, that's it. And then, uh, if we're going to add the average, for example, we can just uh, have an assignment statement here. Average is equal to sum divided by, let's say, 5. And then, add uh, some uh, some more uh, output statement here for example the uh, the average and then we just have to use the average here okay that's it let's try okay so score one 89 78 67 56 90 Okay, so the sum is 380, the average is 76. Okay, so that's it. So this is the counter-controlled um, repetition uh, by using the uh, while uh, loop. Okay, so let me just copy this one uh, just to, to discuss uh, with you the um, um, while loop having a sentinel controlled uh, repetition or meaning we don't know how many scores um, the user will going to enter okay so let's just have to copy this one then i just have to put it here okay so if we're going to modify this uh, if the repetition is unknown so you, you can uh, simply put the here uh, while counter is not equal for example, is not not equal, and and uh, let's think of a, a sentinel control uh, value that uh, when if the user will enter, so that will cause uh, our program to terminate. So let's let's say for example uh, negative one. So if the user have entered ne uh, negative one, so the um, uh, program will um, exit. So in other words. Uh, we will now change the uh, counter to an input um, a statement, okay? So this one, for example. So instead of counter here, we will just use... Um, so this would serve as the, let's say, uh, enter a score. Enter a score. Okay, we will remove this one. Okay, we'll just make it simpler. Enter score. Okay, and then while grade, for example, is not equal to negative one, what are we going to do? So, uh, we will uh, try to put this one here again. So we'll just copy this one. This would serve as actually as our counter now if it's a no number of repetition because uh, there should be an input statement inside of the while loop since we don't have um, any um, increment or decrement inside of the um, loop to uh, change the value of the uh, grade condition okay so that's it let's try um, we have an input statement outside uh, and then uh, we test. So if the user have entered negative one, so we will not uh, go inside of the uh, for loop to execute the statements. Okay, so that's um, uh, what we did here. So while grade is not equal to negative one, that's the only time that um, we will execute another or we will ask uh, the user to enter another input. Okay, and then uh, every time that the user have entered, for example, the... Um, um grade so we will uh, try to add the sum and then uh, uh we will try to uh since this one is not a fixed anymore so we will have another uh, counter variable here inside okay so i will be using the counter again and start zero so this will count the number of times the user have entered for example so for a counter, and then um, 
let's say for example we have i just put this one here okay, so counter um, is equal to counter plus one okay and then so here's the grid now and then i'm going to use the counter here okay that's it okay let's try again this one is unknown number of repetition so okay we, you still have the score one here okay so let's try uh no let's try to run this one okay so enter score for example 90 89 67 56 okay 45 89.6 90.5 uh, as you can see uh, the number of inputs uh, uh, more than a five already. Okay, so let's try another. We have a seventy-eight point six, okay, ninety-nine point eight, and then this time around we will uh, now enter the centennial value, which is the negative one, okay, to uh, exit. Okay, once you press the enter key, okay, so you can see we have now the sum and then the average of uh, this input. This is an example of a sentinel controlled repetition or a known number of repetition. And this one, again, is an example of a counter controlled repetition using while. And okay, that's no, all for to today. And if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And as always, show your love through comments and favorites. God bless and thank you for watching.